Good morning, everybody, and happy third Sunday in Ordinary Time. I hope that you are all enjoying this beautiful but snowy Sunday morning. You are all probably wondering why I'm standing up here. I'm standing here because I was asked to share with you the importance of giving and tithing. When I first heard the word tithing, I had no idea what that was. When my mom had explained it to me, I thought, but I'm just a kid. I don't have a job or a salary. So then I thought about how kids like me can give in ways other than money. Now, I am 100% positive that every single one of you in this room has done something to help someone or something. But today, I would like to specifically talk about how to help out more in your local community and church. But first, I would like to point out some people who have made very good examples of doing community service. Joanna Hatfield decided that she would dedicate her time to Christmas caroling to the seniors at the Lexington Court Nursing Home. It was not a mandatory event, so she could choose to go or not to go, and she went. Maddie Heichel is in an all-girls Christian organization called American Heritage Girls. She helps out with their projects like making small gifts and cards for the law enforcement of Lexington, making blankets for homeless shelters, and so many more that if I list them, I would go over time. She has also helped out with the lemonade stand, and we decided to donate the money that we earned for buying food for the Catholic Charities. Sophia Lazier has helped to plan a Teacher's Day for all of the teachers that work so hard. We worked really hard, and eventually the hard work paid off, and Teacher's Day started officially in March. It actually turned into a Teacher's Week because we did a couple of teachers a day. Natasha Mack and Jennifer Stoker both help out to teach kindergarten PSR in the mornings. My cousin Zoe goes to help my aunt out at work. My aunt works at a disability school, and my cousin goes and plays with the kids. My cousin Kirsten has helped volunteer at her local Humane Society, and she has also helped out with my bake sale that I had that was important to me that I'll tell you more about next. A couple of months ago, back in October, I decided to do something about the tornado that just hit Oklahoma back in May of 2013. I wanted to raise money for the areas that got affected by the tornado. But before the tornado actually hit Oklahoma, I was originally going to have a bake sale for Haiti. But right after the tornado occurred, I thought that Oklahoma was in more desperate need. So I decided to switch my bake sale plans from Haiti to Oklahoma. So with my mom's help, we arranged to set up a bake sale at Guyers in October. We did from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. My mom, grandma, and cousin all came to support and help with the stand. We had a lot of fun doing it. I would like to thank Mrs. Milano, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Cordy, Mrs. Ochowski, and the Reinhardt family for coming to my stand. You might have thought that it wasn't a big deal to come, but it was, so thank you. After the bake sale, we felt really good. We ended up raising $202.75. It may not sound like a lot of money, but every little bit counts. It doesn't, it doesn't always take money to make someone's day. It's the thought that counts. I have a question. Raise your hand if you've ever felt left out. <laughs> well, so me and my friend. So have my friends and I. And since we didn't like how this made us feel, we didn't want anyone else to feel that way either. So now we go out during recess if the temperature is at least 20 degrees or above. <laughs> <laughs> and we play with kids who may not have anyone to play with. We are actually also trying to work on an anti-bully campaign at school. <clears throat> Sometimes I go to the Lexington Court Nursing Home and visit with some of the seniors who don't have anyone to come visit them. It doesn't even cost any money, but the most important thing is it makes you and them feel good. My mom did something very nice the other day. She walked up to a stranger at the food court in the mall and paid for his meal. She hopes that it will create a domino effect and that he will do something nice and the next person will do something nice and on and on and on. So maybe, just maybe, the world can be a better place just by doing something nice randomly to another person. And kids, if you, don't, if you haven't done anything yet to help out your community or church, it's no problem. It's never too late to start to pay it forward, even if it's just visiting for a couple couple of minutes with elderly people, or becoming an altar server at church. It will definitely make a difference. So thank you for listening, and I hope that all of you will have an awesome rest of your Sunday.